wait till we get there, okay? You in bed? Pet? Yeah. That booty though. Another thing coming in for it pretty soon, make this camera a little bit better as well. I also wanted to show you guys my game controller. I tried doing it, a previous recording with it yesterday, and I don't think I did a good job, so I'm gonna do that again today. Uh, re record that, I should say. video mic for this camera. So I got this mic just to be sure, just to make sure like I'm getting better auto quality, especially I want to get uh, less wind. Um, since I'm mostly shooting outside anyway, so let's see if this works. Is that better, guys? I wonder if that's a little bit better audio quality. Hope it is. Hope it's working. It's recording. So uh, let me check the settings really quick. So I don't know if it's working, but uh, I'm going to figure that out soon. Um, so this is the video micro. It doesn't really need a power source as far as other than your battery that's on there. So it's a standalone uh, battery or microphone that doesn't no battery required. So it's like a <clears throat> really um, awesome way to keep recording audio without you know spending a lot of money on batteries or keep or forgetting to turn on your microphone or whatever. So it just automatically turns on. This is kind of a test to see how good the audio quality is. It's a little windy outside, so this has that wind filter on there. And um, I'm running a little late to go get Harley. Uh, she's 
She was in yoga class, and I think I accidentally, I, uh, I'm cutting it a little close, but I'm gonna head over there and pick her up right now. This is Institute of American Indian Arts, and uh, it's pretty cool. This my campus, and uh, there's all some sculpture and stuff going on there. It's pretty legit. Let's see, Let's see if I make it in time. So I kind of have it on auto settings when I'm outside, just so it's a little bit better uh, as far as the visuals and the lights. Uh, I'm not too sure how hard I want to, how hard it is to keep manually adjusting, especially when you're outside. I don't know uh, how they do that. So I'm just gonna try to you know figure it out for myself, see if maybe. It is a little bit easier to do that in that aspect, but I'm not too sure. And uh, Harley's probably out of class already. She's probably waiting for me. And uh, but I'm trying to figure that out um, as far as getting to this vlogging, figuring out my settings, figuring out. You know, I'm experimenting with it, and uh, I think it's pretty fun, especially when you buy stuff, you add new things to it, and Let's see. I'm gonna put you guys down for a second. Oh, there she is, never mind. Let's see what she says. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do? What did I do? What did you get? What is this? A microphone. <laughs> Were you wondering where I was at? No? Oh, did you okay. just get here? Yeah, I just got oh. here. So I didn't even, wasn't even late. Apparently, it's a good thing. Headed into, back to the library. All right, so we make it back to the library. What I wanted to show you guys today was uh, this game controller that I'm doing right here. You guys have previously followed my videos. I uh, basically am creating my own custom game controller. And uh, so here it is extra wires <laughs> so this is a custom game controller it's with a two axis joystick and just two regular analog buttons um, that basically I, so the car got full and I had to take off I had to change out to another car but uh, this is the game controller I was talking about I'm just gonna go over this pretty quickly what I'm doing with it but uh, this is the Arduino Marco that I'm using and just a, a standard breadboard that I got from uh, the class I'm taking it. I took a interactivity class last semester, and uh, <clears throat> basically we had a project to where we could build whatever we wanted as long as we were using Arduino's. And I chose the Arduino Marco because I wanted to incorporate this project within my uh, my game, essentially, which I'm going to be doing in senior year. So I just wanted to kind of share that. With to show you guys what I'm doing, but this is the Arduino Micro with two buttons, the analog, two axis joystick. I'm not going to really go into too much detail because uh, it's not really a tutorial video, I just kind of wanted to show you what it is, but I'll show you some of the code and what it does and uh, how we kind of like programmed it to interact as a keyboard. Basically, it has two buttons, like I previously explained. Arduino Micro uses a micro USB, obviously, by the name and then, uh, which is right there. And then, uh, so basically what I'm gonna do after this is, when I come to my senior project, I'm just gonna take this off, use, not use the breadboard, use a other, just this, this little piece right here. If you guys can see that, but it's basically just the same thing. So actually uh, solder, the pieces into here and uh, allow me to create my controller basically. So let me show you guys what it does actually. All right, so I'm just throwing you my screen and I don't have any live screen software on here to record. So this is a two axis joystick connected to an Arduino Micro. It's uh, basically a code for the program to actually allow me to write into the Arduino Micro and allow me to control like a keyboard. So like, I have this two axis 
These are all the, this is all the code. And then you have the uh, data points, the pins and everything, which is right here. And then you have the pin modes, what they do as a functions. All right here. And then you have your standard loops, what you want to do if, uh, when you're constantly, when I want the um, program to be constantly checking for these things. So right here has X for keyboard press, which is essentially like the same thing like I said. So I'm just gonna, what this is gonna do basically is when I hook it up to Unity or um, any other uh, keyboard, I can essentially set it to press these uh, letters on the keyboard. Now that, that means like I could I could change it to anything like I could change it to F or R you know etc and um, basically use it as a keyboard. But the main point of this is to use this in my Unity game so that I can um, set these buttons to be as far as you know like jump or strike. Uh, points as the character moves or something like that um, and then you know this can be applied to anything really like I can you know set this up as a program for some interact some other interactive interactive program or interactive RGs that I want to do but I just want to kind of want to show you guys what that what it does as I'm pressing so this is the console right here I believe it should be connected yep it is so I'm gonna zoom in just to give you guys that what I'm doing all right so as I am pressing the button it's essentially right here I'm gonna be pressing this left button and this right button and it's gonna print out Sorry about the screen like I said so it's X now no delay CC I'm pressing the other button now and then now I'm gonna get my two axis joystick. And what this does is it acts as the arrow keys on the keyboard. See, if I jump like that. Bam. That, it's up and down. Left, right, left, right, up, down, left, right. So it's essentially like, as a, you know, as you would be doing like this, see, or pressing X and C. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys as far as like where I'm at with my controller. Um, I finished this last semester and I was very, pretty proud of it. Um, I had a lot of help from my teacher, Charles, which big thumbs up to you and I appreciate it. And. Uh, teaching me all this stuff, I think it's uh, gonna be essential to my art career and or even my career, what I'm doing. So um, thanks man, I appreciate it. And like a lot of, uh, so previous video, I think that's gonna be coming before this one is, a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna be doing is digital art. And so like, I don't know if you, I guess you could call this, you know, or computer <clears throat> like tech and stuff like that but it's still part of my main goal which is to create art and essentially uh, you know use technology within uh, traditional or adapting or using contrasting whatever you want to call it with my art so it's a lot of um, you know programming and a lot of thought process goes into like making, there's a lot of tutorials which I might link to making, to connecting these, um, but I will also be uh, posting up my link to the GitHub so you guys, if you guys want, you guys can uh, essentially use my program, my script to whatever you guys want to do and uh, with, with this Arduino setup. So, um, like I said, you just have, probably have to change the pins or whatever uh, you need to do as far as how you set it up. <laughs> Alright, so essentially I set it up just to like show you guys what this does. So 
So I'm, I'm using my Arduino controller. So you guys can see that. And uh, let's see if I can. Yep. This is moving Mario. So that's a lot emulator. So don't worry, like, not having like it both in one hand or both hands like it's, it's stable. But it's uh, this is pretty much what I'm talking about. This is what I want to do with my controller and uh, allow it to. So I don't know if I'm gonna get copyrighted for this on YouTube, but I don't think I can be. Probably just suck at Mario, I haven't done this in a long time. And there's my C button. Oh. <laughs> Why? Don't get mad at me if I'm uh, not a. Uh, whoops. Doing this quick enough. Gotta hurry up. <laughs> this is awesome. Whoa. Sorry, Nintendo. <laughs> And it's pretty responsive as far as the buttons go. But, uh, yeah, this is essentially what I wanted to get out of it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this suck. If you can't tell. Uh, if you guys like my videos, like and subscribe. Uh, Comment down below if this was helpful to you or if um, it sucks. <laughs> I think I'm doing a better job about uh, vlogging. You guys have a good day and uh, check you guys later in the next video. Peace.